Oh, man, I know y'all heard that post fight with goddamn Charles Martin, man. Yeah, y'all heard it. The one where he said, thank you, Al Heyman, before giving uh, no credit to Bob or anything. I think he missed it. ESPN, the top rank. But over on ESPN and them shit, you have Charles Martin thanking Al Heyman. Now, this makes me go over to Bozo Fred Harthorn of Barbershop Conversation, the clown, who made in a video about making some big fuss that a PBC fighter leaves and blah, blah, blah. Bozo, did you hear what Charles Martin said? Let's make sure we are out there watching Fred before Fred harms himself because he's been looking ridiculously dumb. And now you have Frank Martin making him look ridiculously dumb as is Fred making some big fuss that Oh, Charles Martin leaving at the last minute. He signed over the top rank. No, looks like he was advised by the great Al Heyman to go in there and take the fight. Now, I want to go back to some of retardo Fred's words when he tried to make a fuss about Frank Martin going to fight Jared Anderson. And guess what? It's a great move by Al Heyman because it also has created a little bit of buzz and a little bit of life under... Charles Martin's career and possibility of getting another fight. God damn, how does it feel to be so dumb, Fred? I just like highlighting this. Give her the respect to a prolific American businessman. Don't be saddened by the loss of a credential. Move past that, buddy. Listen to me, Fred. Get past it. But let me play Fred sounding like a bitter clown. Check this. Barbershop conversations, man. So I'm on my victory tour, man. I'm on my I told you so tour. <laughs> Another Al Heyman fighter took a fight on short notice. You know what short notice means? One, you need to fight. Two, you need the money or vice versa, whichever one comes first. And you're not getting paid. You've been waiting too long. You done waited. You done waited. You done waited. And now I got to make the move. And once again, this guy is wrong. It looks like Al Heyman said, take the fight. This is your best opportunity to fight this young guy. And look what the result is. And let me tell you guys, because you guys say, um, I was a coon. I was a fake Michael Max. I was a, a coon. I was a fake Michael Max. I don't love black people. Uh, and that's fine. I don't mind that. How about the black fighter that signs with them? Are they coons? Are they Uncle Tom's? Oh, no, nah, they, that's cool. Huh? But I'm not signed to nobody. I'm not signed. I'm free. If you want to run a business in boxing for longevity and sustainability, you better consult with Bob Aaron. <laughs> this bozo can't help but to be a damn sellout, man. And he wonder why people call him what they call him, man. I'm not the only one who does it. But uh, going back to Bob Aaron ain't the person you consult. It's still Al Heyman, the advisor. Bob Arum's a has-been promoter. Simple as it is, Fred. And uh, hope you ain't hurt yourself after you heard and the post fight as you was watching that. And you didn't turn your TV off in time to hear Charles Martin thank the guy from the company that let Shell, uh, uh, Kelly Swanson take your credential. Oh, man. Life is just hitting you hard. And you're nobody in boxing, so don't talk about you're free. 